This week on What's Crap on WhatsApp, we're investigating three viral WhatsApp messages about health. The coronavirus is still big news on WhatsApp. Does China want to kill 20,000 infected people? And are there actually 1.5 million coronavirus victims worldwide? Stay tuned to find out. I'm Paul McNally from Volume. We're also looking into a widely shared WhatsApp message about white bubbles in meat being linked to tuberculosis. I'm Kate Wilkinson from Africa Check. We're the voice note fact-checking show that debunks the crap in your WhatsApp groups. You send us WhatsApp messages to fact-check. And we send you back the facts. We also have some exciting news. We're announcing the winner of our two gigabyte competition. And stay tuned to the end of this episode to find out how you can also win two gigabytes. So what are we checking first today, Kate? We're starting off with our first coronavirus fact check. Okay, so what does the message say? The claim, which has also been made on Facebook, says that China wants to get court approval to kill over 20,000 coronavirus patients to prevent the virus spreading any further. Wow, that sounds crazy. What are the facts? The story is fake, and there are a few red flags. First, it was published on a junk news website, and it's riddled with spelling errors. China has two H's, for example. Okay, and I guess if China had asked its Supreme Court for permission to kill 20,000 people, it would have made international news. Yeah, every major media outlet would be reporting on it. There's also no mention of the case on China's Supreme People's Court website. So we can rate this WhatsApp message as crap. 100% crap. All I'm thinking about every day at this point is the coronavirus. So we've hopefully got a second check today, right? Yes, Paul. A subscriber sent us a video which says that a whistleblower put the actual number of people with the coronavirus at 1.5 million. And the information that this whistleblower brought to the table shocked probably every media outlet right now is going viral. The information he said this, one, he believes, I quote, 1.5 million people are confirmed with the coronavirus in China. Whoa, that's quite a scary claim. It also says that Chinese crematoriums are cremating the bodies of over 50,000 victims. This is unheard of. Usually a crematory is run, you know, for the whole week, maybe four or five hours a week. Well, this one right now in Wuhan is running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. China, the media... The people are not telling us the truth of the real numbers. That is terrifying. And also, I'm noticing a pretty consistent streak of negativity towards China with these stories. Yeah, let's be clear. There is no credible data showing that 1.5 million people have been infected with the coronavirus. The World Health Organization publishes daily situation reports, which show exactly how many confirmed cases there are. And what does the latest one say? The latest report shows that there are just over 87,000 confirmed cases as of the 1st of March 2020. And what about this claim that 50,000 bodies are being cremated? We found no evidence or credible news websites reporting this. The only online website reporting this seems to be a notoriously dodgy website called CCN. Its claim to fame is that it sounds similar to CNN. So we can delete this message. Yes, it's crap. Delete it and send this voice note instead. The last WhatsApp message we're checking today is a picture of meat with white bubbles. It looks disgusting. It says that if you see bubbles and white spots in animal meat, you should not eat it. Apparently, it's a sign of tuberculosis or TB. Yeah, and TB is caused by bacteria. It's commonly spread from person to person through small droplets that are released into the air. So this message is true. Well, we searched for the image online and we found that it was first published in a report by the Michigan Department of Natural Resources in the United States of America. Dan O'Brien, who works at the department, and he's a specialist there, said the picture showed the rib cage of a white-tailed deer infected with bovine TB. So the deer has it. But the question is, can humans get TB from eating meat like this? We spoke to Dr. Anita Michelle from the Department of Veterinary Tropical Diseases at the University of Pretoria. She told us that humans can become infected with bovine TB through direct contact with infected cattle 
or through drinking unpasteurized milk from infected cows. But she said that animal meat, like a steak, for example, is not likely to contain the bacteria. But there was a chance of contracting TB if internal organs like liver, kidney or lungs were consumed raw or undercooked. So is there anything we can do to prevent this happening? Yeah, so you should always be cautious and not eat meat if you're worried about it. But you can do some things to protect yourself. The first is that all meat should be thoroughly cooked and you should boil milk to make it safe to drink. So this message isn't crap. If you're ever in doubt about the meat or milk that you're about to consume, make sure to cook it properly. That's all for this week's episode of What's Crap on WhatsApp. But before we go, we have to announce the winner of our two gigabyte of data competition. Sherilyn has won. Well done, Sherilyn. This week, new subscribers to the show stand a chance to win two gigabytes of data. So forward your friends and family this voice note and tell them to subscribe. T's and C's on our website. They can sign up for our show over WhatsApp. The number is 082-709-3527. That's 082-709-3527. Make sure to save us as a contact on your phone and send us a message to confirm. If you enjoyed the show, please send us an emoji over WhatsApp. Maybe a deer or a heart? Our theme song is supplied by John Bartman. Be sure to tell your friends about our competition and visit our website at www.whatscrap.africa. I'm Paul McNally. And I'm Kate Wilkinson. Bye for now. Volume.